Welcome back to the MMA Experience. Mike Straka along with Matt Bryce. And Matt, you've had a storied wrestling career. And your mixed martial arts career has sort of gone, you know, on a roller coaster. Let's first of all, I want to go back to your car accident and how that changed your life and, and changed your athletic life. That changed it a lot. You know, I, you know, you know, always when you're young like that, you think you're invincible and can't be hurt and all that. And, uh, you know, right when I graduated high school, I got in the car wreck. I uh, ended up having, I guess it was eight surgeries within three years. I've had a total of uh, 12 now. But, uh, you know, I actually, for my last fight, I was probably in the best shape of my life. And I felt great. Just, you know, didn't work out the way I thought I was going to and do it better next time. Well, that's just sort of folks at home may not know. I mean, Matt was a three time, like, best wrestler in the state of Oklahoma, four time champion in high school, I'm talking about. And he was the most recruited wrestler at his weight class in the entire country. And then he gets to that car accident. And that sort of, had to destroy your morale a little bit, but you've you've made it back, and you know your last fight, you're looking great. I mean, it, you know it, the TKO to the strikes, but it is what it is. I mean, you got to get in there, and you got to lose to win, right? That's right. You're right. It happens. And, and Ricardo, you know, is a tough guy. You know, I knew that going into the fight, and uh, you know I was well prepared. Um, you know, and he caught me with a, a kick, and that that was that. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I just love competing, and that's you know in college, and I think that's kind of why I kept fighting is. Uh, that competitive spirit. I, I want to compete. I love to compete, and I didn't get to fulfill that through college wrestling or anything like that. Now you know, and I, I still love to compete, and I still love the sport. So, you know, one of the things that always people ask me what the common thread is on the people I interview here, and I always find that the best fighters are the guys who left something on the mat. You know, Randy Couture never made that Olympic team. You know, and uh, you know, so a couple of those guys. You know, they're one win short of an All-American or one win short of a national championship. You know, and you had that whole college career that you, you now you're getting it back now. How do you drive yourself to day after day? Because they, they, people tell me the training's the hard part. The fight's just that's just the easy part. Yeah, very true. Uh, you know. Uh, I just love to compete now. I love uh, the training aspect of it. I like to go to the gym. I enjoy it, uh, you know, and I got two little kids at home I need to support, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just that's that's all the motivation I need, so. When you uh, look at your career and you look at your fights, have you seen yourself grow from fight to fight? Yeah, definitely. I, uh, you know, I think I'm a better fighter now than I've ever been. Um, I train harder, smarter, and, and I do all the right stuff. But. Uh, you know, um, I've had, like you said, ups and downs since I've been in the UFC. Kind of, it's been a roller coaster. But you know, I'm looking to turn that around and uh, you know, have 2012 be a better year for me. I hear people say that a lot. Fight smarter. How, what does that mean? You know, just uh, you know, you gotta pace yourself. I kind of was a little reckless sometimes. I just gotta find that happy medium. Before I was a little reckless and you know, kind of just balls to the wall. Now, uh, you know, I was a little bit too cautious in my last fight. So I gotta find that happy medium and and, and you know, get that going. Do you find that uh, your wrestling background is, is a detriment to your MMA career, or is, is it a, just a, a total positive? I think it's 100% positive. I think wrestling, uh, you know, uh, instills that work ethic in you and that toughness, and I think it's the best base for MMA to have as, as, as long as you learn the other aspects and, and do that. So I look at it as a, a total positive. Do you find, like, I, I did a grappling tournament, and I, I was a wrestler, but I, dude, I took a guy down, or, and I, I slipped, and I ended up, I should have gone right to guard, but I ended up on my base like a wrestler, right? The guy's taking my back, I'm like, yeah. and I'm going, wait, I'm not supposed to be on my knees. Do, do you have those bad habits you got to figure, you know, try to get out of? Yeah, at first, for sure. But, you know, now I've grappled so much and been on my back that it's, it's you know, I, I don't mind it. But at first, yeah, it's it's definitely, there's there's different things you got you to gotta learn and, and tweak and to not do. <laughs> well, how long have you been fighting now? Uh, since 05, so I guess six years. You know, so six years, I mean, you, you pretty much got it down to a science these days, right? Yeah, I like to think so, but there's always room for improvement. You're never, you're never good enough, and uh, there's always people bigger, better, and better. So.